South Africa, my home. That's the first place that inspired me. As someone who's been born, especially within, within the countryside of it, started my career in the city. It's a combination of both that sort of inspire me as well. And having to have the advantage of starting to travel, I think that has also made me to start appreciating, start to actually even to feel more proud to be South African. I represent the voice of you know, young South Africa. Not just South Africa as a whole, but also the continent as well. The things that they sort of experience on a day to day. And it's quite amazing because I think a lot of those experiences, you know, when you start traveling, you realize that as human beings, we share a lot in common. So that's part of the journey that I actually go through in terms of my work. So I just portray youth. I did study printmaking for three years, but I started falling in love with drawing. The last six years, my focus has always been about using the medium charcoal. As I started to get more and more exposed to it, and then I started introducing an acrylic, and then from acrylic I started painting. So I think it's also because of the choice of the subject that I've used in my work, it allows me to sort of now go and play around and explore with other mediums as well. I used to think like, you know, inspiration will come from other artists. What I've realized all along is always things that one encounter on a day to day can from the news, you know, can be from a song that you listen to, conversation that you had with people. That's how I sort of collect my materials. I normally don't plan what I'm gonna do when I walk into the studio. I always find it hard that when you plan something and then along the way you find something interesting that will take you away from that. So um, I collect materials when I walk into the studio. I put them on a collage. I don't usually do sketches. If I do sketches, it will be completely different. So when I start a piece, I just go direct because then you apply those emotions without really restricting yourself. So I just pour my heart out. And as it goes, the piece will also direct me to where to take it. So that's how I actually start my process as well. It always fascinates you to know that you know, people who collect your work, you know, the space where they're going to put it, because they get to live with the work every day. It's always something I always say, it's such a priceless feeling, knowing that there's someone out there who wakes up and look at your work every day. The symbol of glasses in my work is that you know, all human beings are unique. We are intelligent in our own unique way. It's always been a symbol. When you look at someone who's wearing glasses, you always feel like there's someone who reads a lot and all that. So, in all the subjects that I picked, I always say that regardless of their background, they have their own genius way of approaching life. So yeah, that's the symbol of classes in my work.